Just a week ago, Martina Navratilova took second in the Virginia Slims tournament to Steffi Graf. When we talked to her before the tournament, we talked about how she loves tennis, and also there's one thing she loves equally as much, watch. <laughs> Make you feel wonderful? Ooh, I get nervous. Do you really? Still? Not at the show, so I get nervous when people keep clapping. I don't know what to do. <laughs> still now, hiding, you know? <laughs> you're not used, used to being a star. It's how many years are you in tennis? Uh, it's been a while. I've played here first in 73, so I've been uh, 16, my 17th year on the tour. 17th year. Yeah. Some girls aren't even 17 years old that I'm playing against. You know? I, does that make you feel funny? Do you think uh, yeah. I was successful? Bitch, before you even <laughs> were on the tour. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. I mean, some of these girls were ball girls for me. Yeah. You know? And now that I'm playing against them, and some of them beat me. So uh, it is kind of strange. Now, you were 33. Happy birthday. Yesterday. Yesterday. Congratulations. Thank you. Ah, feeling good. And in great shape. I feel really good right now. I had, I had some problems physically about when I was 30, 31, but right now I feel great. I feel as if I was 23, not 33. So, so. And you're playing that way, too. Playing better. Yeah, yeah. I'm still improving, but which just proves you can teach an old dog new tricks. Oh, I hope you know. so. Look who you're talking to. Uh, I was um, talking about Spike. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the questions are going to come up, obviously, because Chrissy Everett at 34 said that's it. So you know they're just waiting to ask you these things. Well, they've been asking me for yeah. a while. And I always said I would play till I'm 30, then I'll see, and I'm still seeing. <laughs> and you're, and yeah. you're still doing so well. Well, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I'm number two, but, uh, you know, I've, had, I've come real close to winning Wimbledon and the US Open this year, and I didn't. And so I'll give it another try next year and play as long as I, as I enjoy it, and I enjoy it tremendously right now. What went through your mind when you went from number one to number two? No, that's not printable. <laughs> Are you very, you have to be very competitive, well, don't you? Well, of course. I mean, that's yeah. what it's all about. But uh, my biggest goal has always been to win Wimbledon and, and to do the best that I can and whatever that's good for. You know, that, this year is the best that I gave it. I mean, I really gave it everything I had, and I'm still number two. But I'm happy with my effort. If I hadn't given it everything and then I was still number two, then I could say, oh, I should have done this or that. But you I've know, done everything I could. I'm talking to you, and you speak so, and you came in the dressing room before, and we were chatting away. And when you walked out, I thought, my God, that's not her first language. When you no. defected, mm -hmm. and you defected from Czechoslovakia when? 75. 1975. Did you speak any English? Uh, it was better by then, but uh, I still had problems. And, and I have pick, picked up on the language since then. I mean, I, oh, every so day I say fluent. something. It's funny now, it still happens. I say a new word that I haven't used before, and I, and I realize that's the first time I ever used that word. And, and if I don't know something, I look it up, and uh, I always know how to want to know how to spell it. And, yeah, it's fun. I, I have a much easier time expressing myself in English now than in Czech. Now, when I talk to my parents in Czech, I really have to think. I was just going to ask you, what are you dreaming? I I'm mostly English. <laughs> and it's a mostly English, and I have to translate from English to Czech now when I talk to my parents. It's funny. <laughs> you went back to Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. You defected, and they they made you into a non-person, right? Pretty Wait. much, yes. I was, I was a. Uh, if I went back, I would have gone to prison, and uh, of course, I didn't want to do that. And they just stopped writing about me. I did not exist. I won Wimbledon, and they talked about everybody else, and then they stopped writing about it after the finals because they would have to say that I won, so they didn't say anything. But now, that all's changed pretty much. Now, right when now. you went back, were you scared? Maybe I won't get out again. No, I, I would have gone if I had been. No, yeah. I had all the assurances, and uh, they couldn't have been nicer. The officials were very nice to me and cordial. And uh, the crowd, the fans, were just unbelievable. There was so much fun to be there and play. Someone told me they'd been keeping pictures of you. Oh, old, 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 because they had these pictures over years. Right. They had these old pictures. They'd come up and say, sign oh, them. Yeah, and I, I wanted to throw them away. I mean, these are pictures when I was, you know, 16, 17 years yeah. old, about 30 pounds overweight. No, not Dark hair. <laughs> but well, you, you look like an American now. Thank you. You are in such great shape. How, how do you, do you work out every day? What's a typical day for you? Oh, there is really no typical day because uh, it all changes depending on whether I'm getting ready for a tournament or not. But right before a tournament, that's, that's hard. That's, I'm practicing four hours a day 
and do either lift weights or uh, do a cardiovascular workout. So that's a full day. But uh, on my days off, I just uh, maybe an hour to two hours of working out, whatever I do. When did you know you had this exceptional gift for tennis as a child? Oh, did your body have to be different or? I just knew that I was a good athlete because I could jump further than the other girls or the boys. I could run faster, I could throw the ball. Uh, but I wasn't that good in tennis until I was about 14. I was still getting beat by girls. Of course, back then I was much shorter. I, I didn't grow till I was 14. I was really short for my age. And I still I like to serve in volley, which at three foot five, when you serve in volley, it's kind of <laughs> difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd run to the net and they'd lob. <laughs> and I'd run back to the net and they'd lob. And I'd, I'd lose matches, six love, six one, to girls that were my age. But then when I finally grew up, uh, I, I knew that I would be good, but I just had to catch up sort of to my style of game. What's your private like? Like you said something to me so sweet in the dressing room. We were talking. You came in to meet Spike, and we talked about that I travel with Spike all over. And you said you take your dog and your cat in one little in one container container, and you travel with your animals. And that was like a whole insight into you. I mean, it's like your family almost when you're on the road. Are it you, is. I animals. mean, they are. They're my children, you know. They're, they're my family. And I, I actually travel. This sounds probably pretty eccentric, but I have five dogs and two cats. No, because I have I four travel. dogs and a cat, so it's all right. But I travel with all of them most of the time. That's eccentric. And it gets... <laughs> <laughs> it does get a little crazy at the airport when I'm taking them out of the kennel. They travel two and two. And when they first see me, they just start screaming, and yeah. everybody starts looking. I go, oh, God. Man. But uh, they just jump out of the cage into the car and they're ready to go and and i couldn't bring them here because i only came here for two days and didn't have time and they were so upset when they didn't get to go in the car they knew i was packing and they're ready to go and uh, when they didn't see their cages they were upset because they knew they weren't going are you going are you going home now or you're on the tour i still have to go f I, I do a thing for chris uh, chris ever a celebrity right. event in uh, boca this weekend and uh, then i'm going to fort worth to practice so the dogs will be meeting me in fort worth